Well, several years ago, we partnered with leaders throughout the region to help build this five-year strategic plan. The thought was, let's put together and bring leaders into the same room, let's have discussions, so that we had a unified vision of what we were looking for in the airport. I think they set a pretty good set of goals and initiatives in place to make sure that the uh, airport succeeded. This is the close of that five-year strategic plan, and we're now wrapping up a look back at these past five years. Within the financial stability, we wanted to lower our cost per employment. The lower that cost per employment, the more attractive your airport looks to airlines. Another one was reducing our debt service. You're running the airport, you need that debt service in order to achieve a capital improvement plan to help improve the infrastructure of your airport. Growing that non-aeronautical revenue, concessions, your parking revenue, transportation network. And so with those key initiatives in place, that area was very successful over those five years. When you look at our debt service, I had a reduction of about 34% overall by fiscal year 19. Cost per employment, we were about $4 lower than our goal by the year 2019. We were able to lower our costs to run the airport and also the uh, cost to our airline partners, and we're able to attract more air service to our airport. Sustaining and growing air service was a critical piece. We knew that that was at the top of the list. So we worked very hard in partnering with all the air carriers to try and make us a good connecting point, but also growing the traffic and the destinations here. So by 2019, we'd achieved 75 nonstop destinations. We had just shy of 16 million passengers. That's been the highest in over 15 years. We also saw, for the first time ever, the highest number of local passengers boarded in 2019. It exceeded our peak year during the TWA hub days. So that was a critical piece for us. Southwest also, as they grew, brought in more connecting traffic. So by the end of 2019, their connecting traffic was 33% of their market share out of St. Louis. So with that, brought more frequencies and more destinations to our airport. In our generate economic development objective, we had a goal generating revenue from underutilized land or space. We have a properties department that is engaged in trying to find new tenants that we could help generate revenue for the airport. So our goal was about a million over the course of the five-year time frame. By the year 2019, we had exceeded that goal by about 1.7 million or 174%. And that comes from trying to find new concessionaires. We've also opened up several new restaurants. We opened up a blues-themed restaurant. We partnered with a local restaurant here uh, to open a Three Kings restaurant here within our airport. Those concessions that opened in the airport were very successful for us. It was space that was not being utilized, and we were able to negotiate contracts with these concessionaires to open up that space. So it means a lot to the airport. It means that we're able to give our passengers more options as they walk through the airport, but it also means revenue growth for the airport too, as well. It became very clear during our discussions with our collaboration board that they wanted the airport to have a sense and a feel of the vibrant region that we are, not only for the customers coming in, but for the residents who live here and use our airport. So there was no connectivity. We have a great culinary scene. We have a great art scene. We know that we have lots of sports figures. So how do we better that experience and bring some of those local vibrant opportunities into the airport? If you look at the shops, we've tried to bring more of the sports gear that's St. Louis in the shops. We've tried to bring some of the St. Louis made into the shop. And then the other piece would be the art scene. We feel very strong about not only the art institutions in St. Louis, but the great artists that we have in St. Louis. We commissioned four pieces of art. Two of those have been installed in recent years. Two more will be installed in the first quarter of 21. We have over 20 exhibition sites. Those are rotating exhibitions. So artists can come and on a six month basis, they can rotate their wares, they can show their artwork and millions of people get to see that. So it's great exposure for them, but it's also exposure for the world to see just how vibrant St. Louis art scene is. We talk about all the things we've accomplished and there are a lot, 
but we know there's work to be done. You know, we never rest. We know that it's a never ending project. Obviously COVID hit in March of 2020. So it's been a challenging year, not only for our airport, but every airport across the country. And so what we look at is how do we survive through that and come out stronger on the backside? We have been able to weather the storm a little bit better because this five year strategic plan was put in place. It was put in place at the right time. All of those things have set a strong foundation and while COVID has been challenging for all of us and we're not out of it yet, we have hopes that in 2021, we're gonna see the airport grow even more than we expected. We really are looking forward to the next five years. And I think the one thing that we wanna to say to the community and to the leaders out here is thank you. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for the partnership. Thank you for giving us a vision that we can work with so that we can grow together. Thank you for your collaborative effort. Thank you to all of our employees that are here every day. We're very confident that we've set the foundation that over the next several years, we can continue to fly high.